Vanity Fair did this terrific story on how much money uh, Mitt Romney is hiding in different bank accounts throughout the world. Of course, there was a Swiss bank account that showed up in his 2010 uh, statement. That's the only income statement he's ever released. Remember, his dad set the gold standard in releasing 12 years of his income tax returns uh, when he was running for president. And George Romney at the time said, listen, if you just release one year, you could, you could be doing tricks with your records, and it doesn't really give you a full picture. And of course, his son did not take that as a warning, but as a how-to manual. And so Mitt Romney said, oh, great, great point, Dad. Let me just release one year so I can do tricks on this. And then he claimed on his 2011 estimates that they closed the Swiss bank account. Now, did they actually close it? We don't even know that. They claim they closed it, right? Now, when you look at Bermuda and the Cayman Islands, he's got at least $30 million in the Cayman Islands. What are they doing there? He says, no, 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 they're not a tax shelter. <laughs> really? Then what are you doing in the Cayman Islands? Okay, what, what, then why don't you just put it in a bank in Boston? Okay, uh, come, 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 who believes, seriously, is there a single person in the country, conservatives, Republicans included, who thinks, no, 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 he's got the money in the Cayman Islands, not because it's a tax haven, but because it made sense to put it for neutral reasons, having nothing to do with taxes in the Cayman Islands where there's nothing, there's no business, there's no industry, there's no factory, there's nothing. The whole point of the Cayman Islands is that it's a tax haven. Come on, nobody's that naive. And Mitt Romney says it over and over. And then, we haven't even gotten to his shell corporation in Bermuda that he had hidden until he had to release the 2010 returns. And then we found out, wait a minute, you had set this thing up back in 1997, you handed it off to your wife back in 2003, and it turns out you run so much of your business through this thing called Sanctity in Bermuda, it had over $100 million in there. Now they say, oh, no, no, it's no big deal. It's, we're not hiding anything. It's just a coincidence that we're Bermuda. It's lawless, and we just happen to put it there. Cayman Islands, if you ask about uh, bank accounts of people that have money there, uh, you're going to be arrested and put in jail for four years. Uh, Miami expert, uh, an expert on tax law uh, in Miami, interviewed by Vanity Fair, said the whole point of putting it in Bermuda is because they let you hide material that you don't want to be seen by U.S. authorities. That's the whole point, right? So let's go back to Sanctity. Uh, what did he do there? They bought, Bain Capital, it bought Domino's Pizza through that corporation. So it's a shell corporation sitting on an island somewhere that they use for tax purposes. They, I mean, but it's so important that they're buying giant companies through it. They're funneling all this money through it, $100 million. You know that his IRA has $100 million in it? But wait a minute, the most you can put in an IRA is $30,000 a year, okay? How the hell did your IRA get $100 million? This guy is playing a million financial tricks. And then he says, what, what, oh, do I, I love this, the latest twist on it is? He said, oh, do I have money in the Cayman Islands for me? Oh, I didn't know that. Get a load of here, run clip uh, 14 for me, he's talking on the radio in Iowa. I realize that the president's uh, a failure to, to actually reignite the economy makes it hard for him to discuss his own record. And, and so he's going to try and attack me on every personal basis he can come up with. All the taxes are paid as appropriate. All of them have been reported to the government. Uh, there's nothing hidden there. Well, if there's nothing hidden there, well, then why don't you show it to us? Why don't you release all your tax returns? But you're not going to release your tax returns because you're hiding the money. And then he says, oh, like me, I don't know where it is. I, I, it's a blind trust. By the way, it is not uh, up to the rules and regulations of what is technically considered a blind trust under federal law. He just calls it a blind trust. You know who runs it? His lawyer. You know one of the investments that his lawyer made in that blind trust? Gave $10 million to his son, to Mitt Romney's son. Oh, I said, golly gee, I thought out of all the investments, I thought in your blind trust, I should give it to your son. Go, 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 go on, go on. If there's nothing to hide, show us. Hey, isn't that what the Republicans say all the time? Isn't that their number one go-to move? They're like, well, if the terrorists don't have anything to mind, they want us, you know, then there's no problem with doing warrantless wiretapping, right? Or if you've got nothing to hide, that's what we've got the drones for. If they've got nothing to hide, don't worry about it. We'll just spy in on you and see what happens. Okay? Well, apparently, you have something to hide because you won't show us your tax returns. 